welcome everybody. Uh, as I said, I'm really happy to be back here with you. Um, uh, folks at Investor Inspiration have, have been great partners of ours and uh, we, we really enjoyed doing these events. Uh, I've been doing them for quite a while. I thought today I would go back and do a, a presentation that I haven't done in quite some time. I think it's it's a couple of years now um, on, on this format. and um, But it's a great strategy. It's so simple, uh, but it works so consistently. I thought I'd share this with you once again. This is my favorite trade setup. I've been trading with this for many, many years. And uh, it has one very simple indicator, just a simple moving average, nothing else. And uh, I, I'm going to show you how that works today. As Renee mentioned, I'm Vince Moore. I'm, I am the head trader here at Trading Wins. And uh, I have been doing this for over 30 years. It's been a long time and it, it's been a, a lot of fun. Uh, throughout that time, I've developed several strategies and systems that today are not only used by retail traders such as yourself, but also several hedge funds and money managers. Um, please do remember that trading can be risky. What I'm gonna show you is quite safe if, if you follow the rules, but uh, trading overall can be risky. There's a lot of things that are out of our control, so please do not trade with real money until you are completely comfortable with the system that you are using. Now, uh, in today's presentation, I'm gonna start off with my money manager rules. I usually do this at, at just about every presentation and uh, certainly when I'm teaching a strategy, uh, the last thing I want to do is give you a strategy and let you go without the money management rules that go with it. The money, money management plan is really the most important part of this. That is what will protect you when things don't go your way and uh, what will allow you to uh, to profit when things do. So uh, I'm going to cover those first, then I'm going to go over the components of the system, uh, bring up my charts and walk you through it step by step. We're going to go through the entry criteria, some exit criteria, um, plenty of examples so that by the end of this presentation, you have everything you need and you can walk away and start trading this on your own. Hopefully, we will have enough time for Q&A at the end. Um, before every presentation, I also, I also ask one simple question. And I especially do on these events, since I've, uh, I've, I've been here uh, as many times as I have, uh, please take a second, if you, if you would, please, and in your chat, let me know, yes or no, have you seen me present at an event or a webinar such as this before? Please take a moment to just type that in, and then we will get right into this presentation. Excellent. Thank you so much. Everybody, let's get started. So, as I mentioned, I'd like to get started with my money management rules. And uh, the first one is one I'm sure you've heard many times and probably ignored, but you really should not ignore it. It's extremely important. When you do sit down to trade, you do need a clear mind. Um, it, it, it seems silly, but it's extremely important. If you're feeling off a little that day, a little ill, or just not in the right mood, you're more prone to mistakes and trading really does require focus. So please sit down, clear, shut off all your distractions. You don't need CNBC for this. You don't need anything else. Uh, just sit, focus on your charts and do so. Approach this with a positive mindset. It'll really pay off for you. Also, trading is so much more about how you manage your trade once you're in it than it is about finding that perfect entry. Now, later on in the presentation, I'll certainly go over the criteria that will help you pinpoint exactly when to get in uh, to a position. But once you're in it, how you manage it is everything. And so you will not be able to do that if you're worried about the amount of money you have in there. So please, one of the, the rules you should follow the most here is to always trade with an amount that feels completely insignificant to you. And for some of you, it may be a few hundred dollars. For others, it may be several thousand. The amount does not matter. What matters is that once you open that trade, you are not worried about the amount of money you have in there, okay? Because if you are, you won't be able to think clearly and you won't be able to manage it appropriately. One of the ways we reduce uh, our risk in the markets is to always 
make sure we never place more than 5% of our account balance in any one trade. That way, if the trade completely blows up on us, it really doesn't hurt us that much. Now, you'll notice with the system as we go through it that it is very consistent. Uh, I've traded this over many, many years and through all different types of markets, bull markets, bear markets, flat markets. It really doesn't matter. What this helps you do is select the safe areas to trade. So in and of itself, it's pretty conservative and very safe, but following this rule will just make it even safer for you. As I mentioned earlier, there are certain things in the market that we really have no control over, and one of them are, are, are those black swan events. The best example I can give you is 9-11. Um, we really don't have any control over those types of events. So to prevent having our account wiped out when something like that happens, one of the rules we follow is to always keep half of our account balance in cash. So you may at first glance think, hey, that's just dead money. You're just leaving it there. It's not earning anything, but it's a safety net. You know, if something like a 9-11 were to happen again, only half your money would be exposed. And then you would have the other half to put back into the markets and make back those losses. Now, if you follow the plan overall, you will never take a big loss and you won't have much of a loss to come back from. But um, if you follow this rule, You'll always be in the market. You'll never get your account blown out and uh, you'll always try to, to live another day. Um, the, the, one of the more important ones here is to be selective. You know, throughout any market, there's gonna be ups and downs and there's, there's gonna be runs and then flat periods. So the best thing to do is always spread your trades out. So what you wanna do on any given night is select the one or two highest probability trades uh, that you wanna focus on. I mean, think of it this way. Many, many times I've seen the market make a big move. You know, the Dow could be up three, 400 points one day where it'll give you a lot of long trade setups, but then the very next day it'll pull right back and then you'll find yourself in a huge hole if you had gone in and, and, and placed the number of trades. So always spread your trades out select the one or two highest probability trade setups for whatever time frame you are trading okay so follow those rules you'll get a recording of this i hope you go back and watch this again and implement them they'll really help you out now we have two other sayings that we live by here at trading wins and one of them is you'll never go broke taking profits and this is really geared towards those of you who are just starting out as you gain experience in the market, you will learn how to remain in a trade a little longer, okay? You'll, you'll learn how to keep your emotions out of the trade and just follow your plan. But until, until you accomplish that, until you get to that point, just take the profits when you have them, okay? You'll notice that with this system, the level of risk we take is very, very small and it's completely within your control. You decide how much risk you're going to take on each trade and it is very, very limited. So you can take small profits along the way and still do very well with this, okay? And lastly, one of the things you should always remember is that you know you yourself do not control the market and it's never about whether you are right or you are wrong, okay? What this is all about is how much money you make when you're right and how much money you lose when you're wrong. In other words, it's all about execution. So if you follow the plans and only focus on whether or not you are executing the order according to your plan or not, that's the only thing you can control here. And building those habits and being consistent with your actions is what will actually make you successful in the long run, okay? So let's talk a bit about this strategy. It is based solely on technical analysis and it is based on trend and momentum. In other words, we, when, when you trade with trend and, mo and momentum, um, half the battle's already won before you place the trade. And you know, there's a way with a simple moving average where you can identify uh, those periods of momentum that you can ju jump on board when the chart tells you to and ride that mini wave and get in and out of the market very quickly and do quite well. So as far as the components of this strategy go, 
There's only two, really. Two things you're going to be looking at and, and for, and one of them is a 20-period simple moving average. Now, I use this with, with just about all my systems because, number one, it is the most widely used moving average out there by both pros as well as retail traders such as yourself. But secondly, it, it does a very good job of helping us identify periods of momentum okay and judging the amount of momentum and i'll explain that in just a moment secondly once you have that on your chart uh the only other thing you're going to be looking for are engulfing candlestick patterns now some of you may be familiar with them and if you are um we use them a little little different i'll show you how for those of you who have not ever heard of engulfing candlestick patterns no worries i'm going to explain exactly what they are and exactly how you should use them okay so let's go to the the chart platform here and start walking you through this this is my thinkorswim platform you can use any charting platform you like any free platform any sophisticated uh chart platform that you may want to pay for it really doesn't matter because all you need in the end is this line here which is the 20 period simple moving average now you over the years we've we've tried it with the exponential with weighted a 50 period a, a 25 period all sorts of different periods what we found through years and years of testing and actually live trading this strategy is that the 20 period moving average works best okay and the reason is is this it really does a good job of helping us not only identify momentum but also identify the difference between a retracement and a complete change in direction for that particular underline, okay? So I want you to focus on this area in here. When, it, in order to judge momentum, you can do so one of two ways. One of, this, one of the easiest ways, that is, is to judge it by the slope of the price action. Price action will tell you everything, okay? But if you look at this and, and you, you say, well, we've got a pretty sharp slope higher here on price. So we have strong momentum higher. And that is true. That is very true. We do there. But you can tell that the 20 period moving average does a pretty good job mim mimicking that slope. So it really helps you uh, judge the same thing. Where it really helps you, though, is on that pullback or that retracement. See, when when the stock pulls back or whatever instrument you're trading pulls back if you didn't have that 20 period moving average on your chart you could look at this and say well that's downward momentum and that's pretty significant downward momentum okay but when you have the 20 on your chart and you notice that throughout this pullback this sharp pullback the moving average barely moves right it, in other words it maintains its slope higher that's going to help you understand that this is a temporary retracement before a continuation of that move higher. And that's why it's very, very important, okay? Now, the other thing that uh, we want to look for are engulfing patterns, <clears throat> okay? And this is what we look for. Now, first of all, before I go on, I do want to say that for momentum, okay, for that 20 period moving average, the stronger the slope or the more significant the slope on that moving average, the better. You'll find a number of trades that even with a slight slope do quite well, but the stronger the slope, the, the better the odds are of success on that particular trade, okay? So for long trades, you want a very sharp slope higher. For short trades, you want a, a very uh, sharp slope lower. I usually look for about 45 degrees. Th this here would be considered a very strong slope okay this also here is pretty good all right so uh and and as you study the charts as you get more and more familiar with this setup and uh, flip through more and more charts you'll quickly be able to spot the areas that you want to trade in and the areas that you do not now you know rarely do we see see something go straight up or straight down usually it uh, it takes off and then it pulls back, okay? And then it continues and pulls back, continues and pulls back during an uptrend. And the opposite is true during a downtrend. Now, 
what you want to to keep an eye on here obviously is that slope of the 20 and so you want an overall trend now an overall trend is something you can easily spot by judging the pivot points so if we see a chart that does this these are your pivot lows and these are your pivot highs okay for an uptrend what you want to see is higher lows and higher highs in other words this low is higher than this low this high is higher than this high and as long as you continue to put in lower uh, sorry higher lows along the way and higher highs that's an uptrend and will always be an uptrend until it rolls over and starts making lower lows and lower highs okay now during that uptrend if you have that slope that you're happy with in the 20 period moving average on the next retracement what you're going to be looking for is that engulfing candlestick pattern that i was referring to and this is what it will look like okay be a candle followed by another one where the body of the candle on the right completely engulfs the body of the candle on the left now there's a difference between the setup and the trigger for the setup we're only looking at the bodies of the candles not the wicks or tails only the bodies okay and it doesn't matter whether this one is red and the the it's followed by a green one okay it could be green on green it could be uh red on uh, green on red uh, it really doesn't matter okay what does matter though is for a long trade the engulfing candle here the one that engulfs the smaller body does need to be green and should close near the top of that that session okay whether this is a five minute bar or a daily bar monthly bar it doesn't matter but once this bar closes you know you want the close to be near the top range or at least in the top quarter of it okay so this here is what we call a, a bullish engulfing pattern this bar completely engulfs the body of this one okay now for the actual trigger to go long for the entry what you do is you do incorporate any wicks or tails so if we had a little wick up here okay like that okay or a tail right what you want is you want to mark the absolute high of that bar the absolute high and if you get a trade above that high that's your trigger to go long and you can trade it with, uh, with call options, uh, you can buy the stock, you can sell a put credit spread, any other way you want to trade it, okay? But this is your entry criteria. So you have an uptrend in place, you have a nice slope on that 20 period moving average, you get that pullback, and as long as when you see this bullish engulfing pattern, you still have a slope in place. See how here it pulls back? This one's green on green, okay? Can you all see that? Let me zoom in, right there. Green on green. Green body here, much bigger than the green body here. You mark the high of the wick, the absolute high here. Let me get a different color, okay? And any trade above it is a signal to go long. Your stop goes just below the absolute low of the same bar, okay? goes just below the absolute low of the same bar. So back here, your stop would go here. So your risk is always contained to the range of that one bar. So there's gonna be trade setups with wider bars and there's gonna be trade setups with very, very small bars, okay? Range bars. You decide which ones you wanna take. The smaller that range from high and low on that bar, the less risk you're gonna be taking. So the ones with smaller range are, are better in my opinion because you're taking less a lot less risk, but you're still participating in that move higher, okay? Now, when you take that, that trade, um, in, in, the core, in the pro course we teach for this, we teach six different exit strategies, but a couple of the easy ones you can use is A, a cross or a close back below the 20, that's one. 
that's very simple to follow when you're just starting out. The other one is, is just to, to look at the price action here and any close below a previous low, okay? Uh, in other words, you can remain in it until you get a close below a previous low and then you can consider taking that exit. But along the way, if you catch a run and you often catch a nice run with these, you can scale out of part of your position along the way. That way you're, you're banking some profit, you're moving your stop up, you're eliminating your risk completely and you're, you're running along with the trade, okay? So very simple, momentum pullback, bullish engulfing, mark the, the absolute high if you get a trade. Not a close, but a trade through it, off you go. Stop goes just below the low of the same bar, okay? Now, I usually follow the rule that um, I must get a trade above that high within the next two bars. It has to happen within the next two bars or I disqualify it. And also, if, let's say, the next bar opens here, but it trades below the low, before it ever trades above the high, I disqualify that trade, okay? So that's another rule. If you trade below the low, disqualify it, okay? Same thing to the downside, it's just the opposite. So you wanna look for a downtrend, you wanna look for a significant slope lower, then a pullback, and then you wanna look for a bearish engulfing pattern, which is going to look exactly the same, actually. You know, with a bar on the right, completely engulfs the bar on the left. And again, the colors really don't matter except for the engulfing bar. The engulfing bar here has to be red. So you can have red on red like I'm drawing now or green on red, it doesn't matter. But you want the engulfing bar, the bigger bar to be red and you want it to close within the bottom quarter there, okay? If you get that, you mark that, sorry, you mark that low, if you get a trade below there, you go short and your stop goes just above the high. As long as it trades below there within the next two bars, you're good to go. And if it trades above the high first, it's disqualified, okay? But where, where this happens really doesn't matter. In other words, if it happens above that moving average for a long trade, whether it happens below it or overlapping it, doesn't matter. What matters is that you still have a slope higher on that 20 period moving average. Same with the, the downward trade. Okay, look back in here, back in here, there was this bearish engulfing setup, right in here. Broke the low and we went lower, okay? What mattered at this time was the slope in that 20 period moving average. It was still sloping lower when it pulled into that moving average, okay? And you do want the trade setups to happen near the moving average. Sometimes when you got a real strong trend going or a real strong slope lower, they, they, they may happen a little further away and that's okay, but um, you want to you wanna make sure you always have slope, okay? And the time frame does not matter whether this happens on a daily, whether this happens on a weekly, whether it happens on a monthly, it doesn't matter. You see there's one in here, nice pullback, there's that bullish engulfing setup and off it goes, okay? Nice, clean, nice and simple. So it, it it's picking out those high probability areas. The, the engulfing patterns are very strong reversal patterns, all right? So when you get that pullback, but you still have that slope in that 20, so this is telling you that this temporary retracement is ending and the overall trend is about to continue and this reversal signal here known as the bullish engulfing pattern tells you exactly when to get in now if you're a longer term investor um, and you're going to trade this on the weekly or the monthly for example you may want to consider uh, if, if you have the money for it that is buying the actual stock okay uh, marrying a put with it to limit your risk and then, you know, and doing so on dividend paying stocks. That way, not only are you gaining in price here on your shares, you're collecting dividends. And along the way, what you'll find sometimes 
is some clear reversal signals. Like you may get a bearish engulfing setup up in here, which will tell you that retracement is about to begin. You can sell some call options here. And then when it pulls back and you get your, uh, your bullish engulfing pattern or your reversal from here, you buy back those calls, you've collected that premium, and now you continue to hold on to the stock for more gains, more dividends, et cetera. It works extremely well, okay? But whether you, you, know, you want to trade on the longer time frames or the shorter ones, completely up to you. You can day trade this as well. Uh, you can go to a one-minute chart. I don't know what, what it is. You, you day trade whatever you want. It doesn't matter. See, here's a bearish engulfing setup. And this is a great example. You see how the range of this bar is quite wide? Now, it might not be a lot of money here being on a one minute, but just, just to show you, you can decide, hey, rather than these types of trades, I'd rather focus on these ones, right? Because look at the, the range of this candle, how tight it is compared to this. I mean, if I was gonna take this trade, I'd enter down here, Sorry, let me get the other drawing to enter down here at the low of that red candle. But my stop would go all the way up here. So this amount of risk might be too, too big. In this case, it's only pennies because we're on a one minute. But look at this one, right? From low to high, my level of risk is so small, right? Compared to the potential profit. And we'll never know where the exact bottom is. We don't have a crystal ball or anything, but scaling out along the way and using uh, an effective exit strategy, um, what you're gonna find with this is you're gonna have more winners than losers, but your winners are gonna be much greater than your losers. So uh, even if, if you had more losers than winners, you'd probably still make money with this. But, um, when your winners are this big and your losers are contained to this, uh, it's it's math that's always in your favor, right? Let let me show you a few more examples here um, before we we run out of time. And if you have any questions along the way, please start typing them in, and we'll get to your questions in a few minutes. Um, let's look at TTWO. This has been a nice trending stock, and this is the kind of chart you really want to focus on with this right? You don't want those choppy, ugly, back and forth uh, kind of charts because your chances of getting stopped out there are some, so, so much higher, right? You want a nice trending stock like this. And um, what you, what you want to always be aware of is of the slope. So you'll notice that you'll see engulfing patterns like in here, sort of all over the place. But you see how you didn't have any momentum here? Now, the stock did go up from here, but who cares? The point is that that wasn't a safe area to trade. You had no momentum. The, the moving average was completely flat, okay? Back in here, you did have some slope in your favor, okay? And it did go higher, all right? It wasn't very significant slope, but it was decent. It was good, right? But it, it's this kind of slope here or this kind of slope here that you want. So when you catch an engulfing pattern during this kind of slope, the move, you know, is always going to tend to be much, much higher, much more dramatic, right? And again, any time frame, any time frame works. Let me clear this off. Daily, weekly, monthly, it really doesn't matter. If you go back and, and look, some of these, some of these are so small, the range of these bars. It, it's it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful but most of them are so clean on these entries and the longer term charts with a nice strong trend like that are so easy to pick these off all right look at the monthly here let's go back well there was one right here that led to a beautiful run on the monthly look at that and imagine holding dividends throughout etc beautiful right so uh, more often than not it's the trader themselves that makes uh, trading very difficult so this was one of the initial systems that i traded with because it helped me 
keep things extremely simple, simple, only have a couple things to focus on, right? And just slowly and surely get better and better uh, at doing this. But so simple, all you look for is that slope. You wait for a pullback. You look for that engulfing pattern. You reconfirm that you have slope, and then you mark the high, okay? And if you get a trade above there within the next two bars, great. If you don't, well, it's disqualified, you move on. If you get a trade below the low of the bar first, okay, it's disqualified as well. And you'll find that sometime, and they'll go on to do this, but don't kick yourself. There's so many trades out there, all right? It's really, really quite simple. But um, the the stocks that are over $100 a share on an hourly time frame work really well, okay? Let's look at an hourly here. They work really well um, because you can buy um, weekly options with them. They're very inexpensive and work quite well in areas like this. Now, you can, you can take these when they're just taking off like from a, a flat period, one of the things you want to do here is look for a break of a prior low or high if you're looking at a long trade. So if you ever see a channel, for example, or an area of consolidation, suddenly that moving average starts to slope, okay? When you get that set up, just make sure you, you've cleared of the low of that consolidation area. That usually works very well, okay? And what you also find is that during pullbacks, you often get several of these setups. So if you're, if you're um, more aggressive, you can add to your position along the way, or you can just uh, uh, you know, stick with the, the trade that you have and, uh, and, and go with that. Now, one of the things I wanna remind you of is gaps. See, here's a trade on TLT that was a beauty, right? Look at that, look at that slope of that 20 period moving average, almost vertical, okay? These are fantastic, but when we mark the low here, the next morning, it gapped. So now, we, we don't wanna trade gaps, or at least not big ones. Why? Because the risk is so significant. Our stop would still go on the other end of that candle, but our entry would have been down here. So now our risk is not from the low of this candle to the high, it's from the open to the high, okay? And so if that's too much risk for you, then ignore it and move on to the next trade, okay? These are all things that you really need to, to be aware of, okay? So um, always watch for these, but whether you're trading stocks, um, futures contracts, Let's look at gold, for example. Um, here's an example of when you have a really strong trend. Sometimes that engulfing pattern is a little farther away from there. But look at that slope, right? So what happened here was price drove lower, and then it just kind of went sideways for a few days. And there's that engulfing pattern telling you that sideways movement is over and that the trend is going to continue and what confirms it is that slope, okay? So whether it's a, a futures contract, a, a Forex pair, Forex pairs uh, work great as well, any time frame. Look at recently the USD CAD pair. Pulls back, there's your bearish engulfing setup. Okay, and off it goes. And there's several more in here, within here, okay? Several more. It just kept doing it over and over and over again, right? So um, let's look at a couple of others here. How many of you trade Forex, by the way? So, I mean, it doesn't matter. And look, you know, if you see this and you say, well, that engulfing bar is way too wide for me, too much risk, no problem, skip it, move on. Then you get one this size in here, and now you say, okay, that's more like it, I'm comfortable with that level of risk, and off you go. 
But what matters here, this isn't rocket science. What matters is trend and momentum. Okay, and that momentum, that slope on that 20 period moving average is everything. Look at in here. There's a bearish engulfing one right in here. And it goes lower. There's another one in here. Okay, they're everywhere. All you have to do is pick up your laptop, go through a bunch of charts, spend a couple hours going through this, and you'll see for yourself how well this works and uh, how how often these show up and how consistent they are. So question is, uh, what can we do to make this better? Well, there are a few things we can do to make this even more consistent uh, and put the odds in our favor even more. And that we cover in our pro course. If you go to tradingwins.com forward slash August, it'll take you to this page where it'll explain everything that's in this on-demand recording. Um, which is our, our zero to mastery pro class for this system. And during this class, what we do is cover the full system from entry to exit in the class, as I mentioned earlier, we do cover six different exit strategies because all of you are different. We wanna make sure you get something that you're comfortable with, but we do focus on the one that's worked best for us. Also, I'll teach you a very unique way to add support and resistance to this that will increase the accuracy uh, quite a bit. Um, there are those six strategies we talked about, the exit strategies. I'm also gonna show you how to, how to quickly find trades for this, no matter what time frame you're on. I'm also gonna teach you two Fibonacci tools that you can use to confirm your entries and to help you set targets. As a bonus, we're gonna give you a course that we did recently for our pro members, which was a, an advanced technical analysis course there's the, the real core pieces of technical analysis uh, like uh, support and resistance, like trend lines and other chart patterns, but these are advanced techniques that I'll teach you that are really gonna help you with your trading no matter what system you decide to trade with, okay? And then lastly, our second bonus is a 30-day membership to our pro service. So we're not just giving you this and, and letting you walk away on your own. You're gonna have the next 30 days to be with us and ask us any questions and really, really uh, get used to, to this system. But during these 30 days, every Sunday to Thursday, five times a week, I'm gonna send you a video recapping what happened in the markets that night. Um, and that's also the format where I share all my trade ideas, not just from this system, but from all the systems we use at Trading Wins. Um, we also have twice a week live market chats where you get to come into our room and ask me any trading related question you like. We have a great group of members, very uh, experienced. They, they will help you out quite a bit as well. And also once a month, we have our course of the month for pro members. It's, a, it's a, an additional course like this advanced technical analysis course. It's at no extra charge. We do it every month for our members. And we have one coming up um, on August 11th that will be certainly part of your next 30 days in here that you will get at no extra charge. And that one is on uh, generating income with options, both short-term and long-term, and also uh, having a focus segment on those money management rules as well. So you get all of that here for just $47. We always like to do something special uh, to thank everyone because investor inspiration has been so great to us. So uh, I really hope you take advantage of it. That's tradingwinds.com forward slash August. Now, we do have some time for questions. I'm going to, going to ask our coaching coordinator, Raul, to come in. We usually do this. He helps me read off the questions so that we can get through as many as we can in the next few minutes uh, before we have to sign off. Uh, Raul, you there? Good morning, Vince. How are you? I'm great. Glad you can join us. Great, uh, great presentation. Fast, uh, fast paced as always. Lots of questions. First one from Neeraj asking, going back to a chart that you had showed with shorter bars, he was saying they may mean less risk, but isn't the probability of being stopped out much higher? Uh, it is, but if you do, first of all, what matters is the degree of slope because your chances diminish greatly of being stopped out with that slope. So the higher the degree of slope, regardless of the size of the bar, the, the, the um, higher the likelihood it's gonna continue going. Also, remember I said that you want that engulfing bar to close near the high of that bar, right? Um, 
that's another reason why that your chance of being stopped out are slim because when a bar closes as close to its highs it usually follows through at least a couple more days in that direction and so uh all in all you have a lot less chance of being stopped out but if you do it's a very very small loss and when you catch those winners one winner will overcome many many losses and like i said before we've been trading with this for years through all different types of markets and um it's uh, we've seen a lot more winners than losers uh and uh and so keeping that risk small is key it'll really help you long term next question does vince have a preference for trading financial futures versus financial etfs i'm assuming they mean things like uh, the Qs or things like the dow yeah, no, I, I really don't. I'll, I'll trade any chart as long as there's enough volume behind it and, and all the criteria lines up properly. Um, well, you know this, uh, even when it comes to stocks, you know, I rarely know uh, the company that I'm actually trading on or what they do or anything about them, what their fundamentals are. I don't look at any of that stuff. I simply look at the chart. So whether it's a an ETF, a futures contract, um a forex pair it really doesn't matter all right um vince we didn't talk a lot about options but how does this technique or strategy apply to options trading well first of all um it's it's great i love them because they're much safer to trade than just trading stock when you really know how to trade them so if you're not an options trader I highly encourage you to um learn everything you can about options they'll really help you but there's a couple of reasons. One, if you have a smaller account, they're going to help you limit that loss even further, okay? Um, and allow you to be a lot more active because you, you don't need a lot of money at all compared to uh, buying the stock. Secondly, they help you leverage that position. So you can turn a winner into a lot more money, a, a much bigger winner with options while risking even less all at the same time. So it's a win-win no matter how you look at it. So get get familiar with options. We've got less than a minute. I'll let you recap the offer, then get yourself a drink. Hi, thanks. Um, again, this page is at tradingwinds.com forward slash August. And I'm going to teach you the whole system, entry to exit, along with six different exit strategies, but we will focus on the one that I found works best with this system. I'm also going to teach you um, a very unique way to identify the most significant areas of support and resistance. Um, I'm going to show you how to find trades, how to scan for setups, um, and teach you two Fibonacci tools. One that will help you pinpoint the entries or confirm your entries, and one that will help you set targets so that when you're scaling out of trades, you'll know exactly when and where to start scaling out. Um, as a bonus, we are going to throw in that advanced technical analysis course we did recently. It's about another, what was it, Raul, an hour and a half, almost two hours uh, recording there, which is a, a great class we did a couple weeks ago. And we're going to give you a 30-day membership to our pro service, which includes the nightly videos five times a week where I share my trade ideas and, and my opinions on the market. Um, our live market chats that happen twice a week where you can come into our live room ask me anything you like those sessions are recorded as well so over the next 30 days you'll get eight of those recordings and then of course the course of the month that's exclusive to our pro members at no extra charge and and that's also recorded and the next one as i mentioned is august 11th that you'll get uh, an invitation to so you get all of that for 47 dollars tradingwinds.com forward slash August. I am out of time. Thank you so much uh, for being here. If you have any other questions that I wasn't able to get to, feel free to email me at info at tradingwinds.com.